Okay, on the left hand side we have a piano called figure one and figure two. On the right hand side we have our live set. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Part 21, Thinking Out Loud. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting on a bunch of stuff. Um, but basically, offline, we had been riffing over here on this piece of music with our keyboard. And we're just we're just pressing the letter keys. And we like the sound of that so much that we did a live MIDI take, which is here. Which is always fun to figure out how to get there. There it is. And then we edited it down here in the MIDI lines and got it to to play nicely and we'll play the whole thing for you in a minute. So we spent today working entirely with this keyboard riff and we, we it feels to us like a raga or an eastern scale and we wanted to analyze it and so we did. Boy howdy did we analyze it. And so um, well, when we say analyze, I mean, we already know what the notes are. There's seven notes in it. But we looked at could we deconstruct it into a minor and major scale. And we did. And this is the normal way that you do that. You have uh, you have notes. Oh, I forgot to put that in there. That reflect above and below some line of reflection like that. So the C reflects to the G. And... The, and this is how this works here. Well, I guess the line of reflection is up here. So anyway, we did all that. And then we entered it into our compositional program like this. And what we wanted to do, among other things, was compare it to a previous rocket scale we had that sounds like this. This is the full note scale. And we riff on this a lot. We go like this. So you'll recognize that's the same figure. This is what we uh, constructed over here. And it lets you do the same kind of uh, riffing. Uh, the interesting thing, though, is they're different. How do we know they're different? They have different DNAs. And when we say DNA, what we mean by that is we mean the... Um, here's the comparison of them side by side. The current, what we call the current raga, the, uh, the one we've been working with up to date, has a DNA of 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, and the new one has a 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 1. You'll say, well, that's pretty confusing. Well, right away you can tell this has two twos in a row, and actually it has three twos, and this has two threes. They're different. They cannot overlap on each other. They are not a transposition of each other. And yet, we love how they sound. And they give us different but similar feel. So, what we're going to do to bring us home here is play this keyboard riff that started the whole thing. And that'll, that'll bring us to the next steps. Here we go. So
that's it. All of about 20 seconds or so. But we love the sound. So we, we did a lot of reflecting. Um, the Vocaloid uh, sound effect gives us a feel of the fractional steps. Which is very Eastern. Um, we totally buy this seven note scale. We're just not sure yet that we buy what we came up with in terms of major and minor variations. So here's what they sound like full and then as minor and major. That's minor. And that was major. So on the other hand, our theme for today was thinking out loud. And thinking out loud in this case means playing things live and listening to how they feel and then just move forward from there. So that leads us to our ideas, which is to just riff some more in the minor and major modes, probably using our key step keyboard, because using the computer keyboard is just limited. It, uh, it's, it's nice. It works. Uh, we, we demonstrated that. But it's one octave, and we want to go above and below octaves, just as you heard over there. And we have some other stuff. So um, today, our key acknowledgement is to baffled listener who is going, what are you doing? Uh, thank you for your patience and sticking with us. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming. <laughs>